In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to make procedural animated springs. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hi guys, today we're going to make a really cool spring. Select your default view, press X to leave, press numpad 1 to be in front orthographic view, press shift A, and we're going to use a circle. Not a curved circle, but a mesh circle. Select that, and then press R to rotate this X on the X axis, 90 for 90 degrees. Then press S to scale this, and type in 0 0.5 to half it. Then press G to grab it, press X to lock it to the X axis, and press 2. Now we need to get the center of this mesh, which is currently here, but is demonstrated by this dot, to the center of our scene, is where our 3D cursor is. And how do we do that? We just right click in object mode and set origin to 3D cursor. Now we're ready to begin. All you need to do is go to your modifier properties, add a modifier, and the only modifier we really need in this is the screw modifier. Uh, rotate around the Y axis, and currently it looks like a PlayStation 2 asset. Doesn't look so good. The way we do that is we increase the steps in the viewport, and if you want it to be super smooth when you render it out, put this on 64 or 128 so it's silky smooth. <clears throat> right, next thing you want to do is uh, make sure that the angle is on 360 and increase the screw. So let's start the screw off on 3. And uh, that is looking pretty good if you ask me, and we can just increase the number of iterations. Let's make the number 8 for this example. And I'm quite happy with this. Press numpad 1 for front orthographic. We've got our spring in action here. Now we can, now that we've made our spring, that's non-destructive. Let's make it animated and then let's make it procedural. So first one, animated. Hover over the three meters here, press I. Change the keyframe to 50. Change this to 6, press I. Switch to 100. Change this to 4, press I. And change the end frame to 100 because it's a short tutorial. And if we go back now and we watch this, we can play and you can see we've animated the spring. As cool as this looks, it's still pretty boring. So how do we animate it further? All we need to do is lift up our timeline over here, go uh, change your timeline to your graph editor, select your screw. The screw is this over here. You can see it animated here. Hover your mouse in this section, press N. And once you've pressed N, go to your modifiers, add modifier, add noise modifier. And currently it's a bit too jaggedy. How do we spread this out a bit? We increase the scale. I'm going to increase the scale to about 8. And you, you decide what works for you. And then we also want to increase the intensity. Because if we press play now, it's, uh, how you say, boring. So the way we fix that is we increase the strength. And currently, if you go beyond this blue line, it's going to go in the opposite direction. So if we press play, it's going to look funny. So the way we fix that, we just click all of these lines have already been selected, we can just lift it up, come on, let's try it again, you can select this one individually or these ones here, and, this, and once you've done that, as long as it's above that line, it will still work fine. Let's go back to zero frame, press spacebar, and we press play now, we can see it going in action, which looks pretty cool. And you can also increase the offset if you want to change the, the procedural animation to something that you might like. Increase the depth, which I don't think is a good idea. Let's leave that on one. Simpler is sometimes better. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.